Hey guys and welcome back. So this is the third and final video of my living room makeover series and this is a video that I am the most excited for but also completely dreading because everything's going to finally come together and I'm going to style everything and it's going to look super cute but at the same time I have to hang my gallery wall today and for me anything when it comes to measuring and leveling and making sure that things are just so so is not it's it's not who I am. I'm not that kind of person. Like I am more the like let's just slap some shit together and pray that it works out and you know see what happens kind of person. So this gallery wall is gonna be a struggle for me to put together and hopefully hopefully like I know it's gonna be a little off, but hopefully it's just like not noticeably off. Is that's the realistic goal that I'm shooting for here. But before we get into hanging the gallery wall and styling the room, I want to show you how to make a gallery wall for like as cheap as possible because we not rich around here. So let me show you my secret. Okay, so to design my gallery wall, I started by uploading a picture of my living room into Procreate, which is a program that I have on my iPad, but you can use whatever program you have for this. Even an online photo editor would work fine. So all I did was upload a picture of my living room, and then I figured out the sizing of the frames and created various rectangles in those sizes to use as like placeholders for where the pictures would be. So I ended up coming up with two different potential layouts for my gallery wall. And then once I decided on one, I moved on to sourcing images for those frames. So two of my favorite websites to get images from are Unsplash and Pexels. And these are both websites where the pictures are 100% free. So they're high resolution, you can download them, you can print them, you don't need a print release. Like there's no, you don't have to worry about who owns the picture because they have the free Creative Commons license. So you can do whatever you want with these pictures. So I went on there and searched, I'm doing basically like a, a minimal nature themed kind of gallery wall. So I went on there and looked through thousands of nature pictures until I got exactly the ones that I wanted. And then I downloaded those and moved on to finding the cheapest place to print them. So the cheapest place that I found to print the big poster size prints was Vista Print. I was able to get two posters from them for about eight or nine dollars each. They are normally $12, but there's always a sale or a discount code for Vistaprint, so you can always get them cheaper than like the actual price. And then for all the smaller pictures, I went to MPix, which is a website that I used to use when I did photography to get all my photo prints at. They're not quite as cheap as if you were to go to like Walmart or Walgreens or something like that, but I don't trust those places because I know that those staff aren't really trained on like how to calibrate the printers and to know if your print comes off like slightly discolored or something. So I would rather go to like an actual professional photo lab. And MPix was the best website I've ever found where I feel like the price is good and the prints are good. And so that's where I went to get the rest of the pictures. And I believe those were in the $30 to $40 range for those prints. So all of the prints that I got all together were less than $50 for this gallery wall. Now the frames, I the cheapest place I could find to get frames was Ikea. And all seven of these frames I got from Ikea and the total was around $80. So all in all, this gallery wall is costing me less than $150, which is, completely unheard of. Like if you were to go to Target or TJ Maxx and you were gonna buy all of these pictures and frames individually, you would end up spending double of that on a gallery wall. So this is a secret to get a gallery wall for like half the price. Okay, so now that I finished that whole explanation, it is time to move on to actually hanging the gallery wall. So I'm gonna need you to cross your fingers, say a prayer for me if that's your kind of thing, because I'm gonna need all the support I can get. So, yeah, let's let's speed through me trying to not fail at that. Okay, so before I pull the entertainment center out and start hanging anything, I went in with some blue painter's tape and I taped where both edges of the entertainment center is. And then I taped a line straight up the center so that I can make sure that my gallery wall stays centered around there. 
I also put a piece of tape where the top of my TV hits because I know that I want the frame here to come like slightly below that but I don't want it to be hidden by the TV either. So hopefully this works out. I'm gonna start by hanging the center picture and then I'm just gonna kind of measure and level as I move outwards. Okay, so for my first frame here, I put a piece of tape where I want the top of the frame to hit. So now all I need to do is measure how far down from the top of the frame I need to hammer in my nail and it's about four and a half inches down. So if I want the top of the frame to be here, then I need to hammer four and a half inches down. And I know that this piece of tape is centered, so as long as I hammer in the center of this piece of tape, I should be good. All right, here's the test. Let's see how bad we did. I hate this part because it's like, you just have to like feel where it's gonna hit. <laughs> Wait a minute. See what I mean? This is, how did that happen? Oh wait, hold on. I'm hanging on the frame, I'm not hanging on the... Oh, maybe my nail's not sticking out far enough. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I'm not as dumb as I look. Okay, I'm just gonna like time lapse speed through the rest of this because you guys get how gallery walls work, right? No one likes them. Okay, so the first three frames are up. I'm not going to bother filming the rest because I think you guys get the idea, you know how to hang a picture. So I will just bring you back when they are all up and then we will put the room together. I'm not sure how, but somehow I managed to pull this off. All of the frames are up and mostly even, there's a couple just because they're all swiveling on just essentially one nail. There's some that I'm gonna have to take poster putty and put in the corners and kind of stick to the wall so that they stay in place but I think it turned out pretty good. Now that the gallery wall is put up, I'm ready to put the entertainment center back and start styling the room. But before I do that, I'm going to mount the entertainment center to the wall just to make sure that it doesn't tip over, especially when I start adding like a TV and stuff to it. So I wanna show you this really cool thing that I got off Amazon to do that. So it comes in three parts. There are two of these and they fit together like this. I don't know if you can see or not, but they fit together and then there's a little circle that goes through both of them. And then there's this like metal wire thing that you feed through the circles. And then twist it back together. And this makes it so that these two pieces can't come apart. But it's also really nice because you can just untwist this anytime you do need to pull the entertainment center out. So it's not something that I'm gonna have to like unscrew and rescrew something. If I need to like change the TV out or plug or unplug something behind the TV, all I have to do is untwist this wire here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these and then we're gonna start decorating. This is it now with the entertainment center back in front of it. And then this mounting hardware, this metal string kind of sticks out a little bit, but I was just able to tuck mine under there so that you can't see it, but you might have to tape it down depending on your furniture. Now that the gallery wall is up and done stressing me out, we can move on to the fun part, which is styling and putting the room together. Now in my last video, I already showed you a lot of the things that I bought and made for this room, but there are a number of items that I ordered online that I will show you really quick. And the first thing that I ordered was from Ikea and I got two of these. These are like the best of storage bins. So they're made to fit my entertainment center. So I'm going to put my blankets in these to get them off of the coffee table because I want the room to look really like Scandinavian and minimal. So I don't want clutter out. So I'm gonna take the blankets off the coffee table and move them into the entertainment center where they can't be seen quite as much. And then also from Ikea, I ordered two pillows and two pillowcases for the couch. I got this cream color, just a basic cream color to like lighten up the couch because 
the couch is so dark and everything else is kind of light so I kind of wanted to even that out and then I wanted a little pop of color but because like everything in this room is neutral I didn't want to bring in like some crazy bright color so I decided to buy this green pillowcase and I bought this because it will match a lot of like the nature pictures in my gallery wall and it will also match like the actual greenery that I'm gonna have around the house. So for a pop of color, I went green. The last thing I ordered was from Amazon and it is just this cream colored slip cover for that nasty yellow ottoman that someday I would like to have actually reupholstered and maybe even try and match it to the couch. But for right now, I, it's just, it's too much of a job for me. So for right now, I'm just gonna slap a slip cover on it and call it good. And either way, it's gonna look 100 times better than what it looks like right now. So now that we went through all of that, let me show you video clips of what it looked like at the very beginning and what it looks like now, and then we'll start decorating. This is what the living room looked like before we did anything. I had the same couch, the nasty yellow ottoman, there was no rug here and then the entertainment center was just a old turquoise dresser that really did not fit my style and then we had lily's dog cage which i've also since gotten rid of so that is what the room looked like at the very beginning and this is what the room looks like right now we definitely have to fix this area over here and clean up all these cords this um, light fixture is gonna go because it doesn't match anything. And then the couch, we're gonna add our new pillows to it. The ottoman is gonna get covered. And then I do have this rug, which I absolutely love. And then the entertainment center wall with no decoration right now. So let's get started on that. And I'm gonna start by moving all of these blankets to the entertainment center. Okay, it's finally done, so here is the big reveal. that is it for this video so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe if you want to see more thanks mm -hmm.